Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, we are at Midwest RV in St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, this is a place where we bought our camper from. And it's a place we kept coming back to for years while we were doing all our research, while we were going out and looking at different plans. Um, our salesperson, Jim, stuck with us through the whole time. He's been super patient and super amazing. Um, and they've given us the opportunity to come out here to the lot and go through some different trailers and show off some of the floor plans that, the, that they have here. So this isn't sponsored. They're not paying us or giving us any kind of credits or discounts. Um, they're just being nice enough to let us use their inventory to show you guys some different floor plan. And uh, let's see what we're looking at today, Katie. All right, let's go. So today we're going to take a look at a very interesting model. Yes. This one had a side porch on it. It was actually the first thing that we saw when we were driving to drop our rig off. Um, and I got really excited about it because I thought it was so cool. Yep. Um, so what this one is, it is a Coachman Catalina 303RK. Um, it's a 35 foot trailer. It's supposed to sleep six and weighs in at um, about 7,700 pounds dry. One of the other things that we noticed right away was that it came with a uh, premium steps instead of the standard trailer steps. Right, the solid steps. I really like those a lot. Yes, a lot more stable. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so you walk into this and the, the fit and finish was pretty good. Yeah, it was nice and light. Yeah, and to the left you had the living area and the kitchen. So the kitchen area is very roomy. There is lots of counter space. The drawers and cabinets are laid out really well. I really liked some of the bigger drawers that they had. Um, there was some organizational stuff already in place, which I thought was really great. Right, and the cabinets underneath were, were really big. You could store a lot of stuff under there. Yes, and you had room for an actual trash can. That was exciting for me because we don't have that. I like that you can fit some bigger um, appliances in there. Um, I can fit our Instant Pot in there. If I really wanted to, I could fit the KitchenAid mixer in there with room to spare. Right, right. So yeah, that's it's a good kitchen um, with a lot of space. We liked it a lot. The fridge was pretty standard size yep. for a 30 foot trailer. Yes. Um, freezer is the same. It was a three burner stove, small little oven, microwave. Yeah. yeah. Sink is the same as you know, it's the two sided sink. Yep. It's got the little drop down sprayer mm -hmm. thing. Yep. I did like having the windows. The windows are cool. I like the windows a lot. Yeah. It's nice to be able to look outside when you're yes. cooking up a storm. So the dining area and the living area all sit on the trailer's one slide. Um, it's a booth style dinette, which is pretty typical. Drops down into a bed, yeah. has some under seat storage. Mm -hmm. Really not much to write home about with that. Um, pretty right. standard. For yeah, it was very standard. Yep. Um, the couch was just behind the dinette. It was comfortable. Yeah, it was um, comfortable. It's that, uh, that pull out too. Right, so you can sleep somebody else there. They call it like a dream slide or something like that. And then along the back wall, it had two really nice recliners. Yes. Yeah. And those were very comfortable. I don't think... They weren't heated or massaged or anything like that, but they, they were comfortable. Yeah, and I'm sure you could upgrade that if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, so in front of all that is the entertainment center. Now, it did have a fireplace, mm -hmm. which I thought was really cool. I think that's a great way to heat your trailer in those early spring and late fall months. Yes. Without wasting propane. Right. Standard fare TV, mm -hmm. uh, entertainment stand, storage above and beneath. Yeah. And then that's also where the uh, patio door is. It's yeah. basically like a residential patio door. It is. It has the blinds and you open the sliding glass door and boom, there you are on your deck. It's got the screen, the sliding screen as well. Um, the deck's got the railing and I guess all that folds in and yes. then the deck itself folds up. Right. When it's in storage. Uh, but when it's out, um, it's very secure. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, the awning um, extends over it, mm -hmm. I would assume, at least from what it looked like. Yeah. Uh, there's a power outlet out there and... Speakers. Speakers. There were speakers out there and uh, a coax for your TV. Uh, as far as the size of the patio, I'd say it's about standard size for a city apartment. I would think so, yeah. You could probably fit four people in chairs and a small table comfortably. Yeah. Much like more an, than that, probably not. Like an end table. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little bistro set. And then off to the right of the entrance is a hallway with the bathroom and bedroom. Yes, the bathroom was pretty cool. Um, it's large and the shower has the doors plus a seat in it, which I think is great. Um, it's got a nice medicine cabinet that yes. was pretty roomy. And you liked that there's a lot of counter space, I, at least for a bathroom. Yeah, I, I do like that because we don't have any cabinet counter space in our bathroom right now and it's a little frustrating. And then you walk into the bedroom which is a nice size bedroom. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of trailers of that 30 foot range. Uh, the master bed, you really got to squeeze between the bed and the front wall to yeah. get from side to side. This wasn't like that. No, it, there was plenty of room to walk around. Um, and I really like the nightstands. I think that that's awesome. Right, yeah, the two nightstands on either side of the bed, um, they each had a plug in. And then there were two um, night lights, yeah. or maybe not reading, night lights, reading, reading lights, lights yeah. up above uh, the bed. Mm -hmm. And then plenty of storage on either side. On the front side of the bedroom, it had a really cool, um, I'll call it a dresser. Yeah, it's like a built-in dresser. Yeah. Um, so that has a countertop, a very large countertop, several drawers, and then... Um, an upper and lower shelf that each have their own doors. And there's a yes. lot of storage space in there. Yeah, and you can mount a TV there too. Yeah, up above on the ceiling is a uh, TV outlet and a power cord or mm -hmm. a power outlet. Yes. And then the closet right. off to the side. Yeah. Outside the trailer is, is pretty standard fare. Mm -hmm. um, the inclusion of that deck means that you don't get an outside kitchen. Uh, you've got your typical pass-through storage, um, twin propane tanks, power jack. There is an outside shower as yep. well. All in all, for you know, kind of the price range that this thing will fall in, and the size, the size of it, um, I think it's a very nice layout. I was impressed. I liked it a lot. Yeah, the having the the deck, the rear kitchen, the big roomy rear kitchen. Mm -hmm. And um, I know it sounds goofy, but I love having that fireplace. After burning through a, a tank of propane <laughs> our first fall camping. Very, yeah. I, I mean, that was the first trip. So first ha trip. having an electric fireplace built in is um, probably a must have in our next rig. Yes, it will save you having to go out at 2 a.m. in the freezing rain <laughs> to switch over propane tanks. Right. Anyway, so that's it. Um, we are going to come back at you in a couple weeks with another trailer layout. We looked at a few. Yes. And we'd love it. Uh, first off, we'd love it if you subscribed. Um, mm -hmm. If you click the bell icon, you'll get notifications whenever we upload videos like this. Um, give us a thumbs up. Let us know if you liked the review um, or the walkthrough, really. But uh, also, leave us a comment. We've got access now to this dealership that... You know, they're going to let us get out on their lot when they're not busy and go through trailers. Yes. So what kind of floor plans do you all want to look at? They have lots of stuff. Let us know and mm -hmm. we'll prioritize. We'll put they it on our list. Everything from pop-ups to hybrids to fifth wheels to giant luxury class A's. Yep. So we have a lot that we can go look at. Yes. So let us know. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.